To a large extent, World Tour represents Guitar Hero's effort to catch up to Rock Band by adding drums, vocals, and band gameplay. It also includes a wide variety of gameplay modes online, the ability to make your own songs, which are in general a lower quality, and uh, also some new ways to play the guitar that will challenge seasoned veterans. Much of the gameplay is still the same. You're playing the guitar, you're just matching uh, the notes as they go across. It's just the different uh, difficulties that add uh, some nuances to the gameplay, which is true of all the different instruments. Here with the new beginner difficulty, they're really trying to expand the interest in the game. All you have to do is match the rhythm. As you progress through the different difficulties, here you have three buttons you have to match with the same song I've been playing Frequent Unleash. Now you have uh, four notes. You go up in difficulty, you have to expand your hand and go over to the orange note. And then with the most, the highest difficulty, it's just a lot faster, and you have to switch between the notes more often, sliding your hand back and forth. Here with the drums, it's basically the same gameplay you saw with Rock Band if you've played that before. Uh, it's a lot more fun, I think, in my opinion, than the guitar, uh, as you swing your hands around. But you know, and with singing, it's in my opinion the most difficult, unless you really like singing, to match the notes just right and uh, the timing of the words. And there's a few rap songs which are obviously a lot easier because it doesn't matter that I'm not hitting the actual notes, I'm just timing the words just right. If you don't, even if you can't keep up with the faster speed, which is the challenge, uh, you can almost ad-lib it and the game can't tell as well. Some of the new guitar uh, features here, it's you're just matching the frets, you don't have to strum along, which kind of takes away some of the feeling that you're playing, and uh, having to match uh, the notes with it start at different points in time and hold them makes it a little more challenging for people that are seasoned veterans and uh, has a little different gameplay to keep you interested. During your career mode, you'll also face off against uh, famous musicians, and you don't have to battle with sending power-ups back and forth to make it more difficult anymore. It's just making sure that the, the meter in the middle doesn't go all the way to the famous musician. And then you'll unlock that musician to use for yourself, or he'll come along with you here, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, to, play Mr. to sing Mr. Crawley for me while I'm playing guitar. As you go through the career, you gain a lot of money, that as you complete sets that you can use to customize your characters, uh, different clothes, tattoos, proportions, instruments. There's just a wide variety of things as many games are starting to add these customization features. If you go online, there's um, you can compete playing the same song against someone else and seeing who has the, the can get the best percentage for that song. Or you can alternate the different portions of the song back and forth. And there's also the battle mode, where here someone's throwing uh, the hard mode against me. Makes it more difficult to keep up with them. Double the notes. And you just earn these power-ups by uh, getting consecutive notes and then throwing it against someone else. Or the whammy bar doesn't work, or it flips the notes and it's lefty mode. So you have to just think completely different. It's quite difficult. And then you can have band mode, of course where someone's singing, which is the hardest thing to find for someone online that's want to sing the same songs you want to play, and then guitars and drums. And you can also do this um, band online competitively against another band, so eight total people. You can create your own songs here. You're just, for all the different instruments, rhythm guitar, lead, bass, drums, you can go through and make your own rhythms. Then you go through the different features wide variety of settings as far as the note pacing. Uh, if you want to add certain twang or metal sounds to the guitar, you can do that in here. A lot of detail, then you upload it, and you can browse it by genre, or uh, the easiest way to get the highest quality is by the rating there. So the people who rate it the most, download them, and see what the song has got to it. But as you can hear, it doesn't isn't the same quality of sound. There is the rhythm for people that have the talent in creating that rhythm, but it's just not, in my opinion, as much fun as playing a song you've heard over and over on the on the radio. So it, 
doesn't really draw you in as much. And then if you've gone through all the songs that are uh, included in the game, there's also new songs that are always being put up on the, the store that you can, it's similar to Rock Band, you can easily browse through by genre and artist, and you can preview the song before you buy it to hear what it's like. Overall, World Tour is an homage to Rock Band, that it has to catch up and add drums and vocals and band gameplay. The band gameplay actually goes online, so it is a lot more fun to have that competitively in World Tour. It's a few new features with the guitars to keep uh, people who've played all these games over and over interested. And the creating your own song is neat, but at the same point, it's um, not as much fun to play those as the ones that you've heard over and over again on the radio. Overall, World Tour is a great game, but it's showing also that there's only so much innovation that they can add to the rhythm gaming uh, genre.